Looking after the family home is often seen as one of the core responsibilities of being a homemaker, and that's because it directly contributes to the well-being, comfort, and overall harmony of the household, which is why today we're going to be chatting about why you should make your home life your first priority. And whilst we're doing this, I am collecting some vegetables. These are the last end of summer beginning of autumn vegetables that i'm going to be using to make a lovely autumn style dish called the mediterranean chicken when we think about our roles as homemaker it's very central to supporting family health when you think about it because cleaning organizing and maintaining the household it contributes to the health of the family regular chores like cooking healthy meals keeping spaces hygienic and ensuring a clutter-free environment can help to prevent illness and reduce stress and it leads to a healthier lifestyle for everyone Supporting family health as a homemaker is a deeply rewarding and impactful responsibility that I have come to cherish. It goes beyond just maintaining a clean house. It's about creating a lifestyle that fosters physical, emotional, and mental well-being for everyone in the family. And here is some inspiration on how you, as a homemaker, can also truly make a difference. Number one, nourishing with love. At the heart of family health is the food that you prepare. By choosing wholesome, nutritious ingredients, you're not just cooking a meal. You're feeding their bodies and minds with energy and strength. You have the power to make healthy eating enjoyable, introducing vibrant fruits and veggies and whole grains into delicious recipes. From hearty breakfasts that will fuel the day to family dinners that bring everyone together, every dish you serve becomes a moment of care, love and wellness. As someone who didn't used to enjoy cleaning before, I think one of the things that being a homemaker has really impressed upon me is the importance of creating a safe, clean haven. And a clean, organized home is more than just pleasing to the eye. It's a foundation for good health. Regular cleaning helps to keep allergens, dust, and germs at bay, which is particularly important if you have hay fever or asthma. Protecting your loved ones from illness is also very important. But it's not just about the hygiene side of things. An organized and decluttered space brings about mental clarity and it reduces stress for everyone, particularly in a household where you have many people with many interests that they are running around and doing. As a homemaker, you're providing a place where your family can relax, unwind and breathe easy. I like to remember that with every sweep and every dusting, I'm creating a sanctuary of peace and health for my family. And it is through these mantras that I have been able to learn how to genuinely enjoy creating a clean haven for my family, incorporating cleaning routines, using wonderful resources such as Fly Lady and the Organized Mom Method have really helped me with this particular challenging aspect of being a homemaker. But it has been worth it. And whenever I don't feel like doing the chores, because let's face it, Sometimes it can feel like a drag, it can feel repetitive because it is the same thing that we have to be doing over and over again. But I just remind myself that as I do this, I am creating an environment in which my family can thrive, in which my children's relationships with each other can flourish and do really well. And that will give me the motivation to get started and get on with creating a home rather than just thinking of it as it's cleaning chore by chore. A 
And when you think about what goes into making your day productive and wonderful, it all starts with the environment that you are starting from. If things are clearly structured and well ordered, you will start off your day feeling really great and really incredible. And the opposite side of that is that if everything is cluttered and there is no structure, you are starting off the day with stress and then that compounds. In my experience, I have found that that is not sustainable. One of the things that I have done to help reduce the amount of stress, because as I said before, I never used to be a fan of cleaning. I was very good at doing a deep clean, maybe once a month, but then I just let everything else build up. So learning how to do daily chores, how to implement daily structure is something that really helped me. Learning to be my own future best friend is something that also helped me with this because instead of waiting to do things once they had piled up and overwhelmed me, I would start to think, well, what would tomorrow me be thankful of if I did it today? And so that led to things like preparing the launch pads for the children so that I wouldn't be running around in the morning looking for uniforms and things like that. Doing menu planning so that I would be able to answer the question whenever anybody asked me what's for dinner tonight or what are we having for lunch. I would have the answer rather than saying, wait, I have to think about that. Making sure that I've stocked up on the pantry so that I have everything I need to make the foods that have been planned rather than doing a last minute dash to the supermarket in order to pick up a few things here and there. So being a future best friend is a very helpful thing towards maintaining those structures that will help to promote a very happy, calm and stress-free family life. By making the home a welcoming and functional space, we can promote family bonding because this indirectly promotes quality family time. When the house is clean, the meals are prepared and everything is in place, it allows the family to spend more time together without worrying about logistics or household chaos. It's just about making things run smoother, which contributes to emotional and mental well-being because a well-managed home it does lead to people feeling more calm, feeling more loved and feeling more cared for, which enhances overall happiness and mental well-being. But most importantly, I do find that homemaking to me is also an expression of love and care. I find that looking after the home, putting in the time and effort that I invest into making life easier and more pleasant for everyone, I can take pride in creating a space that reflects care and thoughtfulness and that helps to strengthen the family bonds. Another aspect that I really love about being a homemaker and why it's important to prioritize your home life is that it is a great way of creating joy and balance. Laughter, joy and balance are all essential parts of family health. Whether it's organizing family game nights, celebrating little moments or creating a calm stress-free environment, you play a key role in keeping the emotional climate of the home positive. Life is about balance and by ensuring your family enjoys not just productivity, but also relaxation, fun and laughter, you create a well-rounded, healthy lifestyles. And I find that it's in those moments of joy and laughter that I find the true essence of health.
And speaking of health, to give your family the best, you must also take care of your own health. Self-care is essential for a homemaker. When you are rested, nourished and healthy, you bring your best energy to everything that you do. Your wellness is a gift to your family, setting an example that health and self-care matter. Caring for yourself allows you to care for your family with love and strength. By supporting your family's health through everyday actions, you're not just a homemaker, you're a nurturer of wellness, a guardian of happiness, and a creator of lasting memories. And through your dedication, you inspire your loved ones to live healthier, fuller lives. And the impact that you have ripples through every part of their well-being and their lives. And I think that's something to be proud of. Thank you friends for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video where we looked at how a good home life creates a positive impact on people and society as I've been making this Mediterranean chicken meal and I will link this recipe in the description box down below. And until I see you next time, I wish you blue skies, health and happiness. Bye!